All right guys, what's up? Um, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a review of the PSC Mach 33 and the PSC Decree, brand new for 2025. Uh, both these bows uh, are a little bit different than what they had last year. We'll start the, the Mach 33. This bow is essentially uh, a longer version of the PSC Mach 30. It's got a little bit longer brace, obviously 33 axle to axle. Uh, they've got some new colors this year. Um, on this bow, we're looking at a draw length range of 25 and a half to 31. Uh, this particular one's 70 pounds. Um, six and five eighths brace and adjustable from 80 to 90% let off. I'm shooting it at 90% let off today. And then the Decree, which is their aluminum bow this year. Uh, they've only got one instead of two. This is a 25 to 30 and a half draw length range. Uh, this one is also 70 pounds, six and a half inch brace, 31 and a half inch axle to axle and adjustable from 80 to 90% let off. Uh, so we'll jump right into shooting these. I have not shot the Decree yet. I've shot a couple arrows out of the Mach 33 uh, and I'm currently hunting with the Mach 30. So. I'm really interested to put a few more arrows through that Mach 33 and just see kind of what uh, what the field differences would be. So I'm starting with the uh, the Mach 33 with the first couple arrows. Um, I like I said I have shot a few arrows out of this. I'm kind of interested to, to to see how this bow does. I'm gonna shoot it obviously a few times now for you. Uh, I'm shooting all these bows or both these bows rather at a 28 inch draw. So let's give this one a shot here. Super smooth as to be expected with that EC2 cam. There's a little bit of vibration, but nothing, nothing crazy. I'm not one to really care about vibration, uh, like as far as feeling it, uh, cause you don't really notice it when you're shooting a deer. Um, obviously that's a sign of there still being some residual uh, energy being put back into the bow. But uh, I think once you kit this all out, it would, it would help numb a lot of that. Let's go second arrow here. I can tell you right now that this bow is gonna aim super, super well. I mean, being a 33 axle axle, that's kind of a sweet spot for me for like a, a bow to shoot really well, but not be heavy or anything like that. Obviously like my target bows and stuff like that, being like 36 or 38 inch axle axle, those aim really solid, but they're just a bit cumbersome when it comes to deer hunting. So 33 is a really good axle to axle. I gotta say I'm impressed. That bow's really quiet too. I mean, it's hard to tell in here because we're in, in an enclosed space, but that bow's really quiet for uh, for a super light like carbon bow. Um, but let's uh, grab these arrows. We'll shoot a couple arrows out of the decree, um, and then I'm interested to see like at 28 28 inch draw with like a hunting weight, like 450 470 grain arrow what kind of speeds I get out of these. All right, we're loading up the decree here. We're gonna give this a couple shots. Um, I, I was really uh, impressed last year when they came out with this color and doing the bronze pockets and cams and stuff like that. And then extending that uh, availability to some of their solid color options. I thought it made for some really cool color combos. Regardless, that doesn't really change how the bow itself shoots, but let's give this a, let's give this a go. I love this cam. I really do. Wow. I mean, it's going to be more dead being that there's more material material here to absorb some of that vibration, but that bow is nice, really nice. And I, I like 31 and a half inch axle axle too. I had a, um, 
uh, Matthews VXR that shot really well, and then Matthews V3, which the VXR was 31 and a half, V3 was 31, and I really like that. It's a good comfortable uh, axle to axle for me. 33 has been better for me, but. I don't mind uh I don't mind 31 and a half. I'm I'm a bit of a shorter draw guy myself. On the PSCs I shoot 28, but a lot of the other bows I shoot 27 and a half. Uh, but I usually shoot these at 85% let off, which kind of helps shorten it up a little bit too. So Alright, last shot here. I feel like the the decree is more dead. Like at the shot, there's less vibration in it, which is to be expected being a little more mass, but um, it almost feels like it's not like as jumpy. I'm gonna shoot one more out of the Mach 33, just really quick. Like the, the decree just feels like it just sits there after you shoot, which I mean, that doesn't really matter to me either, but it's kind of intriguing. Um, that feeling there. And I think this uh, Mach 33 might be a couple extra pounds. Mm, no, this bow doesn't really jump either, but the decree jumps a little less. It just, it feels like it, the bow just, the string stops, the bow just hangs out. It doesn't really do anything after, which is, it doesn't matter as far as accuracy for me, but it's definitely something that's like an intriguing feeling. Alrighty, so I've got a couple arrows prepared here to shoot through the chronograph. Uh, the Mach 33, I'm gonna go first with. First arrow is a 430 green arrow. Um, we're just gonna see kinda, you know, it's a, a little bit lighter arrow setup, and then my one of my hunting arrows, uh, that's 485, we're gonna see how that does through through here too. So 282, reminder we are at 28 inch draw, 70 pounds. So we're gonna see what the 485 does um, here. Oh, also this is a six and five eighths brace. Just as a reminder. Two sixty six. That's freaking moving for an arrow like that. I think at that draw length, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna jump right in then, right into the decree here. Once again, we're starting with the four thirty green arrow. This is a six and a half inch brace. Still at 28 inch draw, 70 pounds. This one feels like it might be a couple pounds lighter. I'll check the weight. Two seventy five. Four hundred eighty five green arrow. Two sixty. See, so yeah, I'm about six feet slower on both arrows. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the weight on both of these bows. I feel like the Mach 33 is slightly more poundage. So I've got our hand scale. Here is the last chance, HS3, for anyone who would be wondering. So, zero it out. Mach 33 is pulling right at 69.9 pounds. So, dead on 70. And the decree. It's 
pulling 66.2 so it's coming in really light out of the box so if you add you know four pounds of draw weight that's going to add roughly two pounds or two feet per second per pound eight more feet a second it would come in a couple feet faster than the Mach 33 but overall not a huge difference there um, so speed test that's about what I would expect from either one of these for a uh, um, a little bit longer brace height bow a little bit longer axle to axle on the 33 uh, pretty average axle to axle on the decree uh, once again these both have the EC2 cam I believe that's the only way that they're offering them uh, without doing a custom order of some sort which there may be some additional charges for that um, I don't know the pricing on either one of these quite yet uh, the bows launch uh, excuse me on the day of filming they're launching today but they're they haven't launched yet so um, I'm gonna pull these over get a couple b-roll shots of them and give you kind of my overall opinions after doing speed tests and shooting a few arrows out of both of these I'm I'm really a fan obviously these are uh, a couple of the first uh, bows to launch this year um, so there's still a few to come yet uh, obviously uh, a couple of the big ones Matthews and Hoyt haven't launched yet uh, Matthews is usually middle of November um, Hoyt's kind of bounced around the last couple of years they're usually between November like early November and early December uh, is where they generally launch uh, Bowtex usually fall in there somewhere as well uh, beginning of November time frame uh, so as those come out I'll probably be doing videos on those as well um, overall I really do like these bows I do like the changes that they have made uh, really they're not anything super major it's really like axle to axle changes uh, is the biggest thing um, on the decree they, they lengthened uh, the bow or kind of went right in the middle of what they had uh, for axle to axles and went with one bow um, uh, new riser kind of cutouts uh, that kind of thing uh, same grip they've been using for years uh, I really do like this like squared off rubber grip it feels good um, if it's if it's not something that I've mentioned both of these bows have uh, you know integrated rest mounts whether you do uh, the core plate from Hamski or you do the uh, QAD integrated um, rest and uh, Picatinny mounts on the front of the bows that are removable if you don't if you choose not to use a Picatinny mounted sight um, multiple sight screw holes on the side of the bow so you have a lot of adjustability for getting your sight exactly where you need it um, overall these two bows are doing uh, felt awesome you know I would be more than happy to take either one of these hunting uh, through the remainder of the year or you know in the next season even um, I encourage you guys to go to your local dealer uh, if you're in the Fenton area or within an hour of here uh, I'd recommend you come to Sunrise Archery uh, we do have both of these bows in stock ready to shoot um, if you're not in that area I encourage you to go to your uh, your local dealer for PSC and give these bows a go uh, they're definitely worth uh, giving a try so I appreciate you guys watching um, we'll catch you next time uh, hopefully it's a video of me killing a big buck it might be another bow review it depends but we'll have to see uh, we'll just Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.